Hi. To implement the currency conversion application, first what we need to do is we need to create objects. Right? First we have to create a object in that we need to create element and actions. Let's create first. Come to Object Studio. Create an object. Currency conversion. And come to this application modular. Same as so what how we have done for the previous application. Now this is browser and then this is from a executable file and then it will give you the explorer and then here we need to give that url right remaining everything will be next 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 we have created application modeler by default what it will create it will get the main element and then what about the remaining elements let me launch the application it's launching and then these are the elements right this is the amount input output the click button after that result these are all the elements we need to create once the element is created then we have to create a actions first let's concentrate on the elements creation first come to this first element will be amount amount identify now here so because of some settings system settings it is buying in different places now let me try this one first is amount window okay it's highlighted control left click and what are the things we need to do here we need to uncheck where we don't have value and we need to uncheck parent url this is having value let it be okay now click on highlight see this it's highlighted one more time let's check see this it's highlighted right okay then we need to apply apply then what about the another element input input come to this identify again this one right this yes control left click same thing what we have done same thing we need to do for every element okay good and then let's highlight see this it's highlighted okay apply after that another element output output amount output again highlight this one when you are working for any real time so these applications automatically they will have a permission to spy then they will remove the security settings then you can able to spy it properly don't worry about that spying try yep observe this yeah control left click same options what we need to do Parent URL we need to uncheck remaining wherever you don't have values. 
then click on highlight see this it's highlighted after that what we need to do we need to click on that button convert button so again convert button another element again identify this one right this one so here it's highlighted for this let's come to this yes see this some place here this one control left click it's gone okay it captured the properties okay let me test it parent url and everything we need to uncheck okay now let's click on for highlight highlighting okay now apply after that this one right click on this one so it is going to give you the result so we need to capture result here for that come here so click on element result click on identify come to this this window yes this now so this now if you observe in result it is trying to spy different different elements see this different different places we need to capture exactly which one it is it is going to work now if you observe here itself within the bracket this portion is that this portion is that this portion is that let me show you so this this one portion second portion then within that we have so this right see so this different different things it is paying so now this one it is going to work to get the result complete information this is for result okay now observe one thing here why we are unchecking parent url you came to know here now when you observe this parent url what it is showing from usd to ur amount is one if you don't uncheck every time when you are using for different different amounts and when you are using for different different values always it is going to take the same value it won't work dynamically that's why always we are going to uncheck the parent url that's right so what is the the intention behind unchecking our parent url so now what we have done we created all the elements right okay so whatever the elements is required we created everything so now next session we'll see how to create actions for this